How niche should you go as a female entrepreneur? This is a question I've had a couple of times during live sessions and just now in my Facebook group where I did a, a live. Um, and live sessions, of course, with my clients sitting one-on-one -on -one together, live session. Um, why do I not always agree with that? Uh, my name is Tineke Rense from Powerful Business Academy and I help business women to scale and grow their business, double their income within a year, guaranteed. Now, why do I think it's not always needed to go that niche? Um, for example, uh, the lady I talked to yesterday, she was working with business women who are divorced, who are doing very well, who are successful, and who came from an abusive relationship and who are providing uh, for their family uh, themselves. Now that's five, that's very specific, especially the abusive relationship, the businesswoman, the successful businesswoman, because there's not that many. Um, and marketeers always tell you that you need to go niche, 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 the more specific, the better. I don't agree. I only agree when you have lots of money to advertise uh, on Facebook, Google Ads or whatever. You need a couple of thousands to be able to test, find the sweet spot and then you can target your, your audience and then you can target women who are in a group for abusive uh, relationships. That's very specific. But if you're not ad advertising or when you don't have such a large budget, to advertise uh, because I know for a fact many women give up with advertising before they even found the sweet spot because it cost them so much money but you you cannot manage that on your own it's very difficult to uh, to run Facebook or Google Ads it's very specific you really need to outsource that um, and if not um, you, you need to know where your audience is. And if you are solely focusing on social media, I can tell you for a fact that a busy, successful businesswoman, when she is on social media, it only is because she uses social media to become successful. Um, I would be one of the targets. Well, not, not an abusive relationship, but the rest uh, I would. But I am never on social media to learn, to, to find out, because to me, that's a waste of my time. If I want to know something, I Google it. Um, but I'm not waiting until I see something happening in my timeline, because I get distracted too much. So it's really important that you know your audience that well, that you know where they are, at what times that they, they are. And uh, for, for example, the lady I was working with yesterday, I said, well, why do you only want to work with businesswomen? Well, because she thought, she, because she has a, a business and she was a successful businesswoman, she only had the right to teach businesswomen. I said, but corporate managers have the same issues. And there's a lot more successful corporate managers than successful corporate um, business women. And then it daunted on her and she said, okay, actually I don't help them grow their business. They do that themselves because I help them change. I help them change their beliefs, their energy, their mindset, their perception about self, everything. So it's often that you're locked into a belief about something which is not true. And that's what I love doing with business women. So if you want to uh, find out if you're the right woman who can guarantee um, scale and grow your business and double in a year, why don't you check me out? Just schedule a quick 15 minute call. And within 15 minutes, I know if you're able to do that. And I am not selling you my service in these 15 minutes, but you'll know where you are and what you can do and what you need to do. And you will definitely get some tips. So check out my Facebook group, check out my YouTube channel where all these videos are. There's a lot of content videos and I hope to see you again next week. Bye bye.